Hey guys, it's Minty Lemon here, and today we're going to be redrawing some old art. Yay! So here's my old sketchbook, and in here I did a little drawing of this chick. Here's the drawing, and it's basically this little chickie that just hatched. So it's still in its shells, um, and it's saying hi, and there's like a bunch of flowers around it. A couple birds behind it, one of which looks like a fly. There's a really weirdly drawn, drawn sun on the, in the corner. And that's just basically the drawing. I remember being really proud of this drawing when I drew it. I think I made this two years ago or something. But yeah, I remember being really happy with it. And I still feel like it's a good drawing in general. But I feel like there's a bunch of problems that could be fixed and that could make it much better. So I'm going to be redrawing this and hopefully I can fix up some of the uh, little problems I see with it. Also, if you guys want to see me looking through some of my old art, tell me in the comments below since I, would, I have a lot of sketchbooks with some really old art. <laughs> okay, let's get started with the sketch. So here I'm drawing the person. So the reason I'm doing a person is because I thought it would fit well. And also I've been drawing people lately. Um, so since back then I didn't really draw people. I didn't draw a person. But now since I do uh, draw people a lot more often and I've gotten much better at it, I decided to kind of draw a person in the middle because I felt like that would make the piece a little bit more uh, um I don't know, but I felt like it would just make it look a little better. <laughs> so I'm just drawing a person here, and it's a girl, and she's holding this Easter basket. And now I'm drawing it, the actual little chick. For some reason, because of the camera angle, the chick looks really thin, but I promise it's not that thin. <laughs> and I'm doing the um, little shell and stuff. In the original drawing, it, for some reason, the shell really throws me off because it's like exactly touching the chick. It's not like the chick's in, it's much like the chick's smaller than the shell, but in fact they're the exact same size, which just really throws me off. So that's why I made the shell a little bit bigger. Uh, I also wish that I somehow made it look like maybe gave the chick like little wings or something. I just feel like it doesn't look so much like the chick until I actually color it in. And I'm just drawing some extra little Easter eggs, and I'm working on the bunny. I haven't drawn bunnies or any animals um, in a while, so I it's just not it, it didn't look the best. They look really weird, and the an anatomy isn't um correct because I haven't drawn them in a while, so I don't know what their proper anatomy is. So I just drew this from um, memory. Didn't really look at any references, so that's why it looks kind of weird. For both animals, I just drew eyes the way I would normally draw eyes, except without all the eyelashes and stuff. I thought this looked kind of creepy, but I wasn't sure how else to draw the eyes, so I just left it as it was. I drew a little carrot next to the bunny because I thought that would be kind of cute. And here I am just adding a couple more Easter eggs, and I'm doing a, the grass. Um, just some grass in the background because I thought it would look fun. <laughs> And now I'm doing a sun. There was a sun in the original drawing, so I decided to keep it. And here I'm doing the little text bubble speech thing. People say it's hard to draw. I don't really see why. Like, I get why it's hard to draw. But it's kind of easy once you actually do, like, a basic structure of it. And here, I, and now I'm just doing her dress. So for her dress, I decided to have some kind of, like, um, you know, the top of, the ov of an overalls with like the pocket something similar to that um and then the skirts a plaid skirt is that how you pronounce it plaid plaid something well it's one of those <laughs> so it just it's that kind of skirt and the stripes on the skirt are like different pastel colors like pink like a really like pink um and really like blue I didn't incorporate yellow because I don't know, but I felt like it would look kind of weird. But it would have been nice if I did incorporate yellow. Here I'm just working on the skirt. I had kind of a hard time with the skirt. 
I want, like, when I just draw skirts, they look flat. But I really want it to look like the skirt has some kind of dimension, if that makes sense. But I'm not sure how to do that. So I was just trying, I was trying to maybe incorporate some ruffles or something on the bottom. But I ended up um, just giving up on those when I was actually coloring. Um, here I am just making some flowers because in the original drawing, there was some, there was a bunch of flowers all over the place. So I decided to incorporate like one or two flowers around the glass just to make it a little bit more similar. And here I'm working on the face. I had to redraw the face like twice. This is my second time redrawing the face. The face turned out much better this time. So here I'm coloring in the girl. I'm coloring her overalls, this darkish blue color as the base color. And then I'm yeah, using a darker blue to add some shading. I want to really incorporate more shading in my style. I think it looks really nice, but I have to really work on it because here I kind of made a mistake. The shading was supposed to go on the right side, but I made it on the left side, which doesn't really make sense because the sun's on the left side. So shouldn't there be more light there? So yeah, I kind of messed up with the shading here. Um, and here I'm doing the stripes. I just use this blue color and a red color for that vertical ones and the pink color and I think the same red color for the horizontal stripes. And here I'm coloring the skin. I really wanted to try doing some more darker skin tones in the future, but right now I'm really comfortable with these lighter skin tones because they're just easier for me to do the blush and the shading with. So I might want to work on at, um, doing some darker skin tones. And here I'm just adding the blush and just blending that out and adding some shading near the neck, on the arms, and I forgot to do shading under the skirt, but I usually do shading under the skirt. <laughs> and here I'm doing the hair. I'm coloring it a blonde color and also adding some shading with a darker yellow color. And here I'm coloring in the shoes. The shoes are, and the belt are both these dark gray color and the belt buckle thing is yellow. Here I'm coloring in the basket. I'm trying to make it look like a woven basket. So I use a darker color to add some lines. Here I'm just writing the words Happy Easter. I'm just going over those words with like this pinkish color and adding shading. And here I'm coloring the duck, the chick, not the duck, the chick. I add shading again to that little um, shell and I color in the duck with the light yellow color. And here I'm just doing the Easter eggs. I just go in with like one color for each Easter egg. I wasn't sure really about any patterns or anything. You could here I'm doing the clouds and the sun and the little flowers. And the little bunny with this one gray color. I think it looks really nice. And adding the pink. And some little blush. And I'm doing the grass. I decided to do the grass like, well, different shades of green, like how I did in the fairy garden video. Um, it was just mainly two or three shades of green, I think. You can't really tell the difference since you're pretty close um, in color. So, but I just like, colored the back, the base of it one green. I added a little border with a diff another green, and I just um, added some shadows under the bunny chick and some the eggs with another darker green.
that's it for today's video. Bye!